This is on the paste job, number 53454, installed on 328 by Jason. Um, okay, so we've got three furnaces, two ACs, and a water heater we're doing. Um, so, first of all, we'll go with the main floor furnace. <clears throat> and it's going to be a long video, so I'll try to hurry it up. Um, so, duck just as it shows. Um, this is just a lot fitting, two and a quarter inches tall. We have no canvas. Um, but you have a cut line right here. Okay, so the furnace will sit on a nine inch base. You have a 25 by 29 filter box and then duct this as it shows. I have a cut line right here and yeah it's on the angle part but just kind of bend it down. <clears throat> okay so combustion air not applicable. Vent will reuse the existing three inch PVC flues. Um, the gas, so from the caulk, add, just as it shows, the AC, I'll go over those in a little bit, the drain to the existing floor drain right there, um, it's kind of kind of weird what they got going on here, but tap into however you can with the existing. Um, stat, we're going to reuse the existing stats. Electrical, we're going to reuse the box, box and add new switch and cover. Um, okay, so that's that. And over the basement. Basement's just behind it here. <clears throat> this one is a downflow furnace. Um, so I have a cut line at this S clip here. Um, you're going to put on a new base. And uh, our furnace gave you a seven inch fitting. For the top so you can get your flues out. <clears throat> See I guess I'm gonna need to give you a couple two inch 45s for those huh. <clears throat> Alright 445s. Okay anyway um that just it shows cut line right here and one there and here. The back will sit flat. <clears throat> okay, combustion air, not applicable. Vent, I'll go over that in a minute. Um, okay, well, yeah, I'll go over the vent in a minute. Gas, replace, uh, okay, I'll go over that in a minute. AC, no AC on this. Drain to the floor. Stat, reuse existing. The power, use existing box and add a new switch. <coughs> okay, so the gas, um, we're gonna have Dallas here <coughs> running a bunch of gas. So, um, that's kind of what I figured. I'll order the parts for it, but we'll have uh, Dallas just cut all this and do this, you know, pipe fitting and stuff for that when he's here. But I figure we'll just replace this 90 with a uh, T, one inch T, and put a um, one by half reducer and go down. Over here, drop down, 
put a cock in a T in a drip leg, then a piece of pipe, the flex <coughs> to our furnace. Um, so there's another gas that we'll have to do upstairs. I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, okay. So another one on the gas and the flues. So depending on the pipe size, um, Dallas will probably want to break this back and put in a T right here, one inch T, and run CSST. <clears throat> so you can see this in the garage. Um, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Put that in the garage and goes up and 90s out into the garage. And these flues you can't see. They're in the wall somewhere. And as you can see in here, you probably can't see, but I can. It's full in there. So you got that pipe, the two PVC flues, a power, power wire, and all that um, stuff there, all the drain, and I can't really tell what else is back there. So you have two options, <clears throat> and I would probably choose this first option, but... <clears throat> um, so you can't really get behind here much. This duct is all stained. If you look back here, you know, you, you do have some room there um, behind. So <clears throat> my thoughts were, <clears throat> <clears throat> and so if you look here, you have the joists that go this way, but over here, you don't. So it changes, and I will show you that, but I believe those are the stairs going down in the garage. So my thought is, <clears throat> maybe cut a hole in the, up inside this duct in the back of the return so you can work, um, and then patch it when you're done. <coughs> Um, but I'll show you that outside, but we'll need to get gas somewhere out here, CSST, um, out there or anywhere we can, um, but probably be easier out that way on the gas. <clears throat> Over here, you can see the water lines here, you know. I've got this fur down for the flues that come out. <clears throat> and so when we get into it, if behind the furnace won't work, we'll just have to cut all this sheetrock out and get to where we can, you know, <clears throat> any way we can. But I think if it were me, I'd probably try behind the furnace first. Just because it looks so dang crowded back there to me. Can cut out the sheetrock and, and see. I don't know. But, um, that's that. Let's, well, let me go over the water heater first before I go out up there. <coughs> <coughs> so the water heater would just replace this with a, uh, HTTP crossover, it's the kind that looks like this, and they're short. So, <clears throat> um, Jake, we'll get with Jake to do the water, um, but I will order this stuff for him. Um, <coughs> Sorry, I've been moving insulation around. Okay, so 
<clears throat> the vent will tie onto the existing two three inch PVC. <clears throat> the power um, will add a two by four box. I figure we have that there. I don't know if we can do it there or if we just want to tap onto this power and put it there. Um, but we'll add another receptacle either here or wherever you can to power this water heater. <coughs> um, it looks like the water heater just has a plug coming out the side of it that you plug in. Alright, the gas from the cock. So after you put in this tea, you're going to just be put in this uh, drop to the cock. And from the cock, you're going to add stuff. Um... And you may just want to have, to save uh, time in the shop, you may just want to have Dallas do that as well. I'm going to have Dallas do that as well. We'll just have him come here after the furnaces are set on the third day. Let's see, this is the 28th. I'm going to have Dallas come on the 31st. <clears throat> If he can. And Jake. I'll have him come on. Let's see. Probably need to do the water heater. And this furnace at the same time. To get them out. Of the door. So. We'll have Jake do this. Water heater. The first day. Has to be. Because otherwise, they're going to be without hot water. Because you have to get rid of it to get the furnace out. <clears throat> okay, anywho. Um, okay. Okay, that's it on that. <clears throat> okay, so. Upstairs. <clears throat> Actually, let's go out and look at the ACs first. The uh, breaker panel is in the basement in this room here. Uh, well, the AC breakers aren't in here, but the furnace breakers will be. <clears throat> let's go out and look at the uh, ACs. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> so we got two ACs. <clears throat> um, main floor and top floor. So this one, <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to reposition. I'll give you a new pad, reposition these to best fit the space we have. But this one kind of sits in front of the disconnect, so you're gonna have to Maybe stagger them a little bit, but <clears throat> flush both line sets. Give you two new pads. <clears throat> okay, this uh, breaker here, top one is for the main floor. This one is uh, for the top floor. We're gonna have to switch this breaker with a 20 amp home line breaker. Um, and this didn't have screws in it, so just put a couple um, screws in there. <coughs> so this will be AC top, AC main. Okay. <coughs> Okay, let's go into the garage.
Okay. It's in the garage. Um, here's that pipe um, going down and comes over and over. And here's those stairs where I believe it goes, turns into cement, you know, behind the furnace. So, our, the vent for the, um, the downflow furnace, like last year or so, in the storage room in the garage, the hall right there, I ran, they re-roofed, so I ran this two vents through the roof for future. <clears throat> so this one's right there, concentric going through the roof, just has cap on it. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just extend these down couplings and come down where you need 90 <coughs> into this fur down space um and they fur this down because they've got a drain over here and a drain over here but um this one, I believe you can go, well, probably under it or over it. I, don't, I can't remember, and I, my ladder's upstairs. But you have room to get in there. And I figure you draw your holes over here at the end, two, three-inch holes, and uh, then come down the wall here where the vacuum hose is and go through <coughs> behind the return air duct there and then just work all that in you know from inside the duct cut your hole and go behind the furnace and maybe come out in between the filter and the furnace filter box and the furnace okay so um <coughs> Let's see, I believe. I don't remember how to look. Okay, yeah. The gas, you probably have to follow the same route on the gas. And then. Well, the gas, you may. Well, anyway, two options. Follow that same route and then come up and then go in the other attic up there. Because there's another attic on the top. This is all a, an office here. But with CSST in that, <coughs> he may be able to uh, you know, see where the flues are going and follow the flues up. <coughs> to the furnace room. I'm not sure on that without, you know, until we cut holes. Okay. That's that. <coughs> okay, let's go to the top floor. I'll show you the top floor furnace. Okay, this is the top floor for us. Um, and just for Dallas's knowledge that there is a way to utilize it. Um, in this bathroom, <coughs> in this closet there's a little storage room here in a dead space and the door is locked and also back in 
this closet is another little dead storage space here. <clears throat> I couldn't see how to utilize that, but just in case it helps. <clears throat> Okay, so the flue for this, I'm gonna run three inch PVCs up into the attic. And I also put in a concentric kit through the roof. And the attic access is in the closet in the bathroom. Okay, so over here, there's a concentric going through the roof. Um, with three inch concentric. You can see our furnace over here. So you spun three inch PVC over and then down where you can into the furnace room. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so it's top floor furnace. Um, okay, <coughs> so the furnace will have to sit inside a drain pan. Um, there's no drain pan there now. And to do that, we're going to have to take this return air off and probably this, you know, any way we can to get this boot off, put the drain pan in and then reinstall the boot inside and the filter box inside the drain pan. So we're going to reuse this stuff. But when you take it off, you're going to add turning vanes in this. 90. <clears throat> okay, um, and I'm sorry that I had to do it like this, but with a humidifier there, I had to. Um, furnace will sit on a Six inch base, furnace, coil, and duct just as it shows. <coughs> and you have a, a transition and a canvas. So I have a cut line right there. Looks like they have two manual dampers here. But I had to cut it up here because <laughs> this all offsets I needed more room to reinstall the humidifier on a flat surface. So, unfortunately, that is why I had to cut it way up there. And my flashlight just died. Okay. <clears throat> you know what I just thought of? Um, and I don't know yet if it's even possible when you rip this furnace out, you know, this is a water module, you know, a complete heat, AM30. So these water lines will go all the way down to the complete heat. If they go in and drop all the way down the wall a straight shot and you can cut them from underneath and drop a gas line down that would be the ideal scenario so when you get this furnace out look back there and see what they do <laughs> <coughs> okay so combustion air not applicable vent i went over that already 
gas. Dallas will need to run this in CSST. I will order this stuff. Um, the AC, I went over that already. The drain is to the existing. Put in a drain pan overflow safety and the coil overflow safety. Power, reuse the box, add new switch and cover. Reconnect humidifier um, if needed. I'm guessing they'll want to. Replace the filter in the filter box. And that's it.